What's going on everybody? Stud City here and the the thumbnail is captured at best. We're going to be raiding Lego boxes. Now, it's an interesting video, different type of video, but I thought it would be really fun. I'm going to go through 10 Lego sets of a variety of themes and kind of pick out just some 10, just random 10 Lego boxes and I'm going to rank them from the worst to the best with reason why. So if you're interested in that, stick around and let's jump right into this video. But first, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Starting off with the worst one I'm going to pick up is number 10. It's the Lego Hit Inside set. And you can tell from the box art, it's a hard set to realize what's going on. But essentially, if you take a very good look at it, you can see what the set is actually about. The front cover of this as a display in the store does not capture that very well. And it captures a uh, jack and a phone capturing a ghost. I don't know. Poor choice, in my opinion. Box art is probably the number one reason why this theme sold so poorly. Following Hit Inside, which is by far the worst in my opinion, we're coming in at number nine, Video. Another theme that failed from Lego. Again, uh, I believe these sets were just extremely overpriced and uh, for 20 bucks, which this retailed, you can see I paid $5. Well, I must have ripped the other check off, but I definitely picked this up for $5, which was reasonable for one minifig. That is actually pretty cool. But for a $20 retail set, I think these were overly heavily overpriced as well as getting them on clears, right? These things got clearance and Lego announced that this theme was failing fairly quick. But that's just why this is coming in at number nine. And number eight, we have the Lego Movie 2 sets. I don't know, uh, this is just a miscellaneous one I picked up. Uh, I'm just not a huge fan of the purple themed colorway uh, from Lego Movie 2. And that's why I'm bringing this one at number eight. I'm not saying this is a terrible set and by all means, I actually think the Batman minifigure that comes in the set is very cool. But for me, the box art just not just does not do it for me. The colors don't pop the way I want them to. And that's why Lego Movie 2 is ranked number eight. Number seven on our list is actually a fairly new set. It's actually really new. It's the uh, limited edition uh, Lego Santa's front yard. This was a GWP for $170 for a one day only on VIP weekend. Now for me, this box art is not the greatest. I don't think it's a good looking box. And I have a problem with that for this being limited edition. I think having a beautiful box in a limited edition set would be way better. I don't know, the colors, the contrast, it just doesn't do it for me. And that's why this one's coming in at number seven. We're moving on to number six and we have a small little Ferrari F40. I actually it's getting really hard to choose worse boxes and i think this is a really good box like i really love the speed chances especially the six stud wider ones box types i really think they did a good job with these and it is number six on my list but it does capture the set very well it has the little ferrari logo huge bonus the back shows off the set the speed champion in different angles and i think they did a killer job with that and definitely a set that catches your eye on the shelf in a lego store or at walmart or at target Moving on to number five are the helmet piece boxes. I don't know. I think they're, they're pretty sleek for the most part. It's just a really funny shaped Lego box, in my opinion. I used to have a few of the Boba Fett ones, and I actually don't have them anymore, and I kind of regret selling them all off. But I definitely want to get another copy for myself here in the new future. Uh, but this is the Stormtrooper helmet, and it actually has a really nice feel to the box front. It's pretty sleek. Again, it's just a different style of Lego box. You've never seen a Lego box that's shaped like this. Very different and very unique, but that's coming in at number five. Moving on to a number four, we have the Lego Ideas Sailboat, which was arguably one of the best promotions for 2021. A very great set and a very beautiful box. I think the sunset in the background, the color display, they absolutely killed this thing. It's a gorgeous looking set and it's a gorgeous build, has so many great play features, but as far as the box art, they did a fantastic job with this one. And that's why it's ranking number four on my mystery list. A very large box for number three. This one is pretty unique, guys. This is a two-in-one Walmart exclusive. Very cool, very unique. Something I've actually never owned and really never seen. This was on Walmart. And actually, probably when you see this video, is still available on Walmart. This is $20. This big old box is 20 bucks. Yeah, but you get two sets in this, guys. The city, uh, two vehicles here, and then the one. So I believe the retail value of this would be like 40 bucks, in my opinion. Uh, and also this display case, we should let off a little bit better. Uh, it's pretty cool. You fit the cars inside of it, and the cars are really good looking. Got it from my city. The box, massive, huge tick there, as LEGO Masters would say. And just an overall good looking box. Color contrast, looks cool. Have the two sets on a street. Couldn't ask for more because it's a LEGO City set. Well, that's why this one ranks in at number three. Down to the final two. 
We're bringing out a creator expert set and a beautiful one at that. This is the Lego Crocodile Train and actually a set that is absolutely gorgeous. Have not built it yet. We'll most likely do the uh, alternate build for this one. It's a steam locomotive. I think it's absolutely amazing. But the box art on this guys is so sweet. I ended up picking this up for 40 bucks using the Rocketing link, which is linked description below. You get this set uh, $40 off if you still want it. But hey, you know, I did my thing. And I love that little uh, blueprint of the set. I think that's a really good touch. Definitely makes my top two just on how awesome these boxes. The contrast with the gray at the bottom. I think it's a good job. Good job from Lego. Definitely a big fan of the set. Box art looks great on display. And coming in at number one is probably the shiniest box I, that I own. The Lego Disney Train. This one's actually new for me. I actually just picked this up not too long ago. But I don't know if you could tell from the glare and the feel of this. Can you hear it? Can you guys hear that? It's sleek. This thing feels amazing. It looks amazing. Definitely probably the hands down best Lego box that I own. The way it glares off the light, something so crazy and unique to this set. I don't even know if there's another box on the market that looks like this, but check out the back guys. This thing is, what a legendary set. This set is hands down, probably one of the arguably like one of the better Lego sets that's available on the market, set to retire in 2021. I highly recommend you pick this up. Haven't got to build it yet. Maybe saving this for my kids when I have kids one day. <laughs> we'll build it together and have this as our Christmas tree train. But number one, this set has to come down it. You can see the glare coming off it, the way it feels, the way it looks. What an absolutely magnificent set. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give a thumbs up, subscribe. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, Stud City out.